What's up everyone, it's Q from RetroQ Gaming, and today is a good day, it seems. There's several good announcements and several things that have actually made me happy today. And now we're going to add another one to that list. So, if you have been an Xbox 360 gamer, you probably already know what this is. Chances are, if you were a PS3 RPG fan, you also know what this is, but unfortunately, you may not have got a chance to play it. So... Microsoft have announced a couple of new games on backwards compatibility today, but the one that really takes the forefront, the headline of the announcement, is Lost Odyssey. Lost Odyssey is now on backwards compatibility for Xbox One, which is fantastic news, for the simple reason is it's an excellent, excellent JRPG. Now, some people will say, why is it a JRPG? Well, the reason for that is many people will take a look at the studio who make it, the main studio who develop it, Miss Walker Games, most of them actually think that the headquarters are located in Honolulu, Hawaii, which is not the case. Well, it partially is the case. It's the Part of their offices are in Honolulu, Hawaii, and the other part are actually in Tokyo, Japan. So because of that, and the fact that here's where the real, the big important stuff comes in, the Miss Walker Games is actually founded in part by Hironobu Sakaguchi, which I'm sure many people already know who that is. If you don't, it's the guy who created Final Fantasy as a series. He created the Final Fantasy series. Obviously, we all know he left Squaresoft way back in the day because he wasn't happy with the direction and what they were doing with what with Final Fantasy at the time. So he has his own studio, Miss Walker Games. One thing that's also excellent about this game, Lost Odyssey, is the music was actually done by veteran Final Fantasy composer Nobuo Uematsu. Yeah, Nobuo Uematsu. I always butcher his name, but you get the idea. Now, because of all that, and the fact that this game was actually an Xbox 360 exclusive back. Uh, when it first released. It released in 2007 in Japan and 2008 here in the West. But this was an Xbox 360 exclusive. There was never a PC version and it never came to PlayStation 3 either. So a lot of people, most people would go with the PS3 as their platform of choice for RPGs and JRPGs. So because of that, people who didn't have access to a 360 easily or they didn't have access to a 360 at all may have missed this game. Now that it's on backwards compatibility, maybe someone was playing it on 360 and never got around to it. And now it's available on Xbox One, or available to play on Xbox One. Maybe you had a PS3 last gen, and now you have an Xbox One, and you finally get to play this. It's an it's a fantastic game. It's an amazing game. And because it's now available to another generation of, ga another generation of gamers and console players, hardware cycles if you will so that's that's brilliant i know i personally just went and grabbed my disc to do it now one thing i will say about this is almost all backwards compatibility games on xbox one are available digitally now with lost odyssey that is not the case lost odyssey is actually a four dvd game because it released in the early days of the xbox 360 so the game is huge it's on four dual air dvds which is massive like, one Jewel Air DVD is 8.5 gig. You multiply that by four, boom, it's a big-ass game. And it's reflected in it by the amount of content and the amount of video, the amount of gameplay time you'll actually get into it. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's so, so worth it. Now, because this one is not available digitally, you do need to get the disc-based version of it. Once you put the disc-based version into your console, I personally just put disc one into my Xbox One, and it downloaded the entire game. It downloaded a 22.4 gig game. Now, I, I know there's... That might be a bit daunting for some people, and because it's not available and not available digitally, it can be a little bit of an issue for some people. But the game is is so old; the game is eight years old at this point in the English language, and you can easily pick it up in maybe the pre-owned section of your local game store or online, maybe on Amazon or eBay or something like that for next to nothing. You won't pay much for it, probably. I haven't looked to be honest, but chances are you won't. It may go up in price slightly because of this announcement, but. It's, 
it's a little price to pay for such an excellent game that you will definitely get so much time in. And that's why I'm so excited for it. I'm, I'm not going to play it again, to be honest, because I have all the achievements in this game, which requires some serious grinding. Uh, as well as I have the, the DLC, there's one small DLC extra put with it, have all the achievements in that too. And the fact that I'd have to go back and put in like another 100 hours into the game is something I can't commit to right now. Maybe I'll do it in the long run in the future, but now I know with the Xbox One version of it, or the fact that it's backwards compatible on Xbox One, I have the ability to do it nice and easy. I don't have to go and drag out my 360, connect all that back up, and then play it on that. The space heater that is the Xbox 360. But it, it's a fantastic day. It's fantastic news for anyone out there. If you like RPGs and JRPGs and have an Xbox One and have not played this game, definitely get on playing it. Go out, pick up a pre-owned copy uh, in your game store, pick up a pre-owned copy online, whatever it is. Just play it on Xbox One, especially if you, like I said, you didn't get a chance to play it on the 360. Or if you didn't have a 360, uh, you were a PS3 main and now you have the ability to play it on Xbox One. Definitely do that. Definitely worth it. I highly recommend this game. Anyway, if you've played Lost Odyssey or anything like that, let me know in the comments section below what you think of Lost Odyssey or other JRPGs or other games from Mistwalker, really. But it's mostly focused on Lost Odyssey. Let me know all that. Comment section below. Hit the like button. The subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.